Matt's Kai Talk. I'm with Matt that was uh, with us yesterday for the Ben Turner uh, instant reaction. Um, and today we're just going to have a look through, because it's been a really busy day. We've signed four new players. Four players so far. Yeah, so far. And uh, I've literally got my phone set to notifications because there's literally every so many hours there's a signing coming in. So um, we'll do it as it unfolded today. Obviously Ben Turner last night. But uh, Zumana Bakayogo joined us, didn't he? Yeah, first signing of the day. Um this morning a, a very solid player with one of the positions we've really been crying out for a left back really um, someone something that quite a few players have had to almost cover pre-season we've had you yeah, know, it's not Kelly Evans trying out there we've had McCrory doing yeah, bits of yeah, yeah. Pierce at left back as well so um, yeah, really pleased to get a left back in yeah um, reading a few things about him because obviously at this level you don't get to see every player like you would at, on a high level but he looks decent he looks quick he looks like he's played at wing back before as well, which with this new system where it looks like we're playing three at the back, that's that's good. Yeah, quite a few games in pre season we've um, been playing three at the back with full backs. Uh, Bakayoko fits that bill, he's done it before. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a quick player, he's very direct in his movement, so he can get down that line and almost yeah. play like a winger when he's in possession. Yeah. Um, so Tranmere, Crew, we have to pick out he didn't play for them, but he had uh, he started his career at PSG. So any yep. player that we can say has come to Notts after starting at PSG is a... Yeah. And an international. Decent. Yeah, under 23 for Ivory Coast. Indeed. It all adds up. It's an international that's played for, well, that's been at PSG, so it's decent. I'll take it. But uh, yeah, I think I think he'll play most of the season, to be fair. Yeah, I think he's a really solid signing. I think someone that could probably still play above this level mm. and um, a, a really solid signing to start the day. Yeah, so the Notts media team have been busy today. I think they've been on it pretty well. And to be honest, throughout the whole issues and summer, Notts Media team have been great putting highlights and stuff out, but they're, they're doing well on Twitter and, and things today. And uh, a few hours later, they teased another signing. And it turned out to be Sam Slocum, the 31-year-old goalkeeper. That's decent. Yeah, a, another player which I think many would expect would have at least stayed in League 2. Um, didn't have the most productive season last year. He didn't he's, play much. Right? No, he's been a regular throughout his career. You know, Oxford, Scunthorpe and uh, Bristol most recently. Mm. Uh, went out on loan to Lincoln last year from, uh, started on an emergency loan in August, finished in January but ended up not playing. Um, so, firstly a player with lots of experience and someone who, who's obviously quite keen to get back into regular first team football. Yeah, he's sort of a name as well. You know, if you know the lower leagues, you know Sam Slocum. Don't yeah, you? I think everyone's probably seen him play at some point for a various club. Mm -hmm. um, he's you know, 31 year old, good experience, good age. Um, not the tallest goalkeeper in the world, but no. quite renowned for being a really good shot stopper. And hopefully he's gonna bring that consistency that Knotts have been lacking over the last couple of years. Simmons is a good shot stopper. He doesn't have much more for me. So to get Slocum in that's the good shot stopper and can sort of build on what, what we had with Fitzsimmons is good because of all the signings we were coming in, I didn't think a new goalie would be coming in. No, I, I wasn't expecting a new goalkeeper today either. Mm -hmm. Fitzsimmons is one of those players that he pulls off some really good saves and everyone will say, great shot stopper, yeah. but he's just not offered that consistency to not so far. He's yeah. not um, you know, put, through, put through a string of games for you know, four, five, six months. We had the season where he came in for Colin and then obviously had his little kick out which cost him. And then last year, obviously didn't quite do enough to uh, convince Ardley not to dip into the loan market. So hopefully Sam Slocum's going to be that player who plays 46 games for us this yeah, year in the league. I think he could be a class signing. Um, and then there was a bit of a, a way it wasn't there for the next sign. I mean, they it came in too. So Dion Kelly Evans, pretty much everyone knew about that because Kettering accidentally leaked it, didn't they? Um, what do you reckon to that? Yeah, I, I think I think Dion himself will know that it's probably going to be not a, an immediate starter in the first team. He's only 22 years old. Um, one year of really being in the first team, which was at Kettering last year, a couple of leagues below where Knots are. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. A, a guy that's played left back as well this season, uh, in pre-season. I think he was sort in at left or right back, and he'll just yeah, like... offering that versatility again. He's very quick going forwards. Uh, he looks like a real attacking full back. He can once again ever discuss with that five-three-two. He can play that role, getting down the wing. Defensively, we haven't seen too much of him. Um, no. Personally, I missed the Ipswich game, so I've only seen him play against the lesser teams and obviously a bit of the Walsall match. Um, but yeah, I don't it's think, anyone's, depth, I think anyone can complain about that one. I don't think we can complain we've not got depth at wing back. No, not at all. So at the same time, Damien McCrory. 
Yeah. David, um, mm. from what I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I'll go. From what I've seen in preseason, I don't want to write him off already because he's got bags of experience. Like, well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about our slight concerns first, and then we'll go into what he can potentially yeah, offer. Yeah. So preseason, he was, he looked very, very, very nervous. Preseason didn't look great. Um, let's give him some due. Quite a lot of preseason is playing centre back, which isn't a position that he's naturally played. No, no. Um, he's mainly been a, a full back and a wing back in his career, but he's been asked to play centre back and quite a few times as part of this yeah. five that we spoke about. So that might be something which Ardley is trying to kind of get him used to. Yeah. But let's be fair to him. We don't know how much preseason he did before he came into Knotts. Certainly not looked the safest pair of feet no. in the world but there is pressure coming from that level like if you're on trial your career's on the line like, yeah, it's, that's it's, where the nerves will be from it might not have been on trial for it so I, I don't really know to be honest yeah. um, it's like we say he's done seven seasons at Burton before this spent one of them on loan at Plymouth but he's not had to worry about getting a new club he's had a really sort of consistent uh, mm. basis and a, a club to be at yeah. still only 29 years of age so you'd say he's probably in his well, peak physical condition, if mm -hmm. not technical. Yeah. Um, very versatile, left back, left wing back, centre back. I'm sure he can probably cover on the right as well. Um, so yeah, another uh, another solid versatile player for Knotts. If you had that to Turner, mm -hmm. that's some great signings. Like that's solid. Twenty four hours ago, we didn't have a back five. Now we've got yeah. possibly one of the strongest back fives in the division. So yeah. I don't think and some experience, play. which is like yes. vastly important. And some experience, some hungry players as well. Quite a few players: um, Turner, uh, McCrory, and um, Bakayoko, mm. who haven't been playing too much. And Slocum as well. They've not been playing that much in the last year. So players that potentially are really hungry to get stuck in and have a good campaign. Yeah. So I'm fully expecting as soon as we finish this video that Knotts will have announced the new signing because it is literally. Constant, yeah. and there they have just tweeted whose seat is this. So it's another tease of a player. My guess is O'Brien. I think it'll be O'Brien. O'Brien, I'll go for Tyson for the sake of being different. Mm. Probably be someone completely different. There'll be two great signings again, though. So I think they'll definitely come in before before the Saturday game at Eastley. Hopefully so. But yeah, some great signings already, and hopefully within the next few minutes, a few more to come in. Literally, as we finish recording, um, Notts County had released that we have now signed Nathan Tyson. Uh, they prolonged the tweet for quite a while, but we kind of knew it was going to be Tyson. So are we happy with that, Matt? Yeah. I mean, if anyone that's seen pre-season or seen the games in pre-season so far, we'll be happy with that yeah. signing. Um, Hatrick against Ilkeston, obviously, a bit of a lower standard. Mm -hmm. um, good goal against Sipswich. Yeah, good goal. He's, he's looked sharp, and he said himself that he's had a couple of years prior to um, his recent spell at Wickham where, where he was considering retiring and, and really wasn't enjoying football and even went on to say that he felt as though he was only sort of half the player he is when he was last at not. So I'm really excited to see him in the team, yeah. hopefully scoring and um, you know, seeing the Nathan Tyson which which has all those clubs and all those goals and all those appearances. Yeah, I think even as an impact player for me, coming on with his pace late on in games. I think he'll be great. I hope he stays injury-free, I really do. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's you can't hide the fact he's getting on now. He's 37. Um, but I, I he still looks in pre-season yeah. like he can play quite a lot of games. I mean, he's got an absolute abundance of experience. Just to name a few of the clubs. He's been at Reading, Forest, obviously, then moved to Derby. Um, Doncaster in a couple of spells at Wickham yeah so it's an exciting signing to be honest yeah it's exciting and Knotts have literally <coughs> tweeted that they're not done for tonight um, I think it'll be O'Brien to finish that's got to be to finish the day so here's some more signings eh yeah exactly <laughs> 